Hey, Speed Demons, here's a geeky PowerPoint shortcut that I'm going to call the drag and jump, which is activated by using a combination of PowerPoint keyboard shortcuts, which is why this is kind of a geeky PowerPoint shortcut. And this came in response to the duplicate versus copy and paste video I did a little bit ago, um, specifically that hidden feature of the duplicate command. And Tony is the one who sent this through as an alternative way to create that hidden little jumping feature. And again, you can check out my other video if you want to see that duplicate hidden feature. So this is the drag and jump, two different keyboard shortcuts that combine for a pretty cool effect as Tony pointed out. So let's first talk about the drag. And this is really a hybrid keyboard shortcut. And if you've never heard me talk about hybrid keyboard shortcuts before, it's a mouse plus keyboard combination. So that hybrid shortcut, there's a whole bunch of them, but three of the best ones are control drag, shift drag. And what we're gonna do here is just a control plus shift plus drag. And what this is, is a copy, plus alignment of whatever object you're working with. So if I just come in here into PowerPoint and I come to the next slide, I'm gonna delete this graph. If I want to create that duplicate copy of this graph, instead of hitting Control C and Control V to copy, and then trying to move and align it, instead of hitting Control D to duplicate and moving to align it, what you can do instead is, and I recommend first selecting the object that you want to copy and align, start to move it with your mouse, just like you normally would, I'll control Z to undo that. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna start to move it, but before you unclick with your mouse, hit the control key, there's your copy, hit the shift key, and there's your perfectly aligned object. And notice I cannot move this into an unaligned position here with my mouse. I'm, I'm kicking it back and forth. And then when you unclick with your mouse, you're gonna create that perfectly aligned copy of your chart, graph, whatever you're working with. And I just, again, recommend, sometimes you, you try to hit control shift and then drag and it doesn't work. So I really recommend first trying to move your object, then hit the control, the shift key, and then unclick with your mouse to create that perfect copy. So that is the drag of the drag and jump. Now let's talk about the jump part of the drag and jump. And you're gonna do this using your control shortcuts. Really it's called the repeat commands and there's really two keyboard shortcuts here. You have F4, just a straight up F4. And if you have your function keys inverse, you might need to hit Fn plus F4, which you can check out my other video um, about that. Or you can just hit control Y. Both of these are the redo or repeat keyboard shortcuts. And where these are super useful, if I just come in here to PowerPoint, I'll delete this ink is, it allows you to select an object here on this slide, do whatever you want up in the ribbon. All right, I'm just gonna come and fill this, you know, let's fill it light green. I'll fill it dark green like that. So I could format something once, then I could come to something else on this slide or another slide, I hit F4, I could come to something else, I could hit Control Y. I mean, they're, they're really the same exact thing. But what it allows you to do is just basically sweep through and perform one specific operation, which is um, kind of like an assembly line for formatting objects in your slide. So you can do that either with F4 or Control Y. Just remember, if your function keys are inverse, you're gonna have to hit Fn plus F4. And where these two combine, if I come to the next slide is, let me just delete these out of here, is that control D to duplicate keyboard shortcut, right? I use my smart guides and then I use that hidden feature to jump um, my slide titles all the way down. So the drag and jump is I'm going to select, all right, the add details uh, text box here. I'm gonna start to move it, hit the control and shift key to create that perfectly aligned copy so I don't have to mess around with my alignments later. Now if I just hit F4, I get that same exact hidden feature of the duplicate command. And let me just do that again. I will just delete these. Boom, 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 boom. You could even do this two rows at a time. So I will select my objects. I'll start to move them. Control shift. All right, I'm gonna use those smart guides again. Where's my smart guides? Right there. All right, I'll control shift drag, then F4, F4, F4. And you can see because I'm building this slide with the concept of relative alignment and positioning, something I talk about in our speed training courses, the slide basically fills in itself. So that's an alternate to the jump feature, that hidden feature of the duplicate command that again, you can check out in my other YouTube video. And again, thank you, Tony, for sending this through. That is super awesome. And I'm gonna now call that the drag and jump in honor of Tony. If you wanna keep up to date on our PowerPoint hack trickery, so PowerPoint hacks, tips and tricks to help get you to happy hour, make sure you subscribe here to my YouTube channel. If you're just looking for PowerPoint resources to help get you to happy hour, like PDF cheat sheets, free mini series, and other assets that I pulled together for you, just look for the links directly beneath this video. This is Taylor from Nuts of Bolt Speed Training, and I'll see you at happy hour.